All right, we are going to evaluate polynomial functions using excuse me, synthetic substitution. All right, this is a whole different um, way of doing this than direct substitution. All right, so I got a few examples, and um, by we're done doing all the examples, you should be good to go. All right, very first thing you do is the setup. All right, you gotta make sure the polynomial function is in standard form. In this case, it is in standard form. Now we are going to work with the coefficients and the constant. So the coefficient of the leading term, or the first term is negative three. Then, so this is a cubic term. So then you have a quadratic term, which the coefficient is seven. After the quadratic term becomes a linear term, which is negative four, and then the constant. Since, since I have a cubic function, I should have each of the following terms following it. If not, I will replace those with zeros, which we'll be doing some examples of. All right, so here I'm not missing any terms, so therefore I have a value or a coefficient for each of these spots. Now I'm substituting, I want to evaluate this function by substituting x is equal to three. That right there, I make a little box to the left, and I put a three in there, because that's what I'm substituting in. So then I draw a line underneath, and now we begin the process of synthetic substitution. All right, the very first step will always be the same, is you bring down the negative three. All right. I bring down the negative three. Now, this number down here, I multiply by what's in the box. So negative three times three is negative nine. All right, so that's what goes there. So three times a negative three. Now I add, you always add going down. So seven plus a negative nine is a negative two. All right, then I repeat the process again. So negative two times three is negative six. That goes in the next spot. So this is negative two times three. And then I add going down. So that gives me a negative 10. Then I go do the process again. So negative 10 times three is negative 30. All right, so I did um, negative 10 times three. Then I add going down. So negative 30 or eight plus a negative 30 or negative 30 plus eight is a negative 22. Since this is the last number, the last spot, this would be my answer. So in other words, if I do F of three, you're going to get negative 22. So negative 22 is your answer. In other words, if I will put three Substituting for x here, here, and here, and use direct substitution, you'll still get negative 22. I think this is a lot easier to do because you don't have to worry about cubing or squaring and all that kind of stuff. It's just you multiply, add, multiply, add, and just keep doing that until you come to the very end. All right? So let's look at another example. All right? Second example, we're going to do f of x is equal to x, excuse me, negative x to the fourth plus x cubed minus x plus one. And we want to evaluate this function when x is equal to negative three. So instead of using direct substitution where I will just plug it in here and then just do order of operations, I will actually use synthetic. All right, again, make sure this is in standard form, which it is. All right, so it goes a fourth power, so this is a quartic, then cubic, quadratic, you notice here we're missing a quadratic term, we're missing an x squared term, then we have a linear and then a constant, right, so we are missing an x squared term, that's important here, all right, so the very first term is that its coefficient is a negative one, four, then the cubic, the coefficient here is a positive one. Now, we're supposed to go to a quadratic, an x squared term, which it isn't one, so what I have to do is I repeat the process. 
4 times negative 3 is negative 12. So I did 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. So negative 12 plus 0 is negative 12. Then do negative 12 times 3 is a positive 36. Add going down gives me a 35. And then 35 times 3 is uh, 3, 6, 9, 105. All right, a negative 105, excuse me. Because 35 times a negative 3 is negative 105. I add, I get negative 104. So there's your answer. So in other words, f of negative 3 is going to equal to negative 104. Again, if I take negative 3 and plug it back in for x and use direct substitution, so I take negative 3, take it to the fourth power times negative 1, then I take negative 3 to the q power and then put negative 3 here and then, come, and then add and subtract, you'll get negative 104. All right. Example number 3. All right, so again, it's in standard form. We're good. All right, so it goes x to the fifth. So we are missing x to the fourth, x cubed. A reminder to the staff, because of the faculty meeting tomorrow, please cancel your clubs and activities. Please cancel your clubs and activities. Unless you have someone other than a faculty member that can cover for you like a security guard or something like that. Thank you and have a nice night. All right, so I guess I won't be making videos tomorrow. All right, so we're missing x to the fourth, x cubed. Here's x squared. Here's an x. So I'm missing a constant as well. All right, so here we go, set up. So first term is three. We're missing x to the fourth, so zero. Missing x cubed, zero. The quadratic term, the coefficient is negative 2, then a coefficient is 1, and we're missing the constant term, so it's 0. Put a little box. What I'm evaluating with is 2. All right. So here we go. Draw a little line, and let's begin the process. First step, bring it just, just bring it down. All right, so here we go. 3 times 2 is 6. Add going down. 6 times 2 is 12, add going down. 12 times 2 is 24, add going down. 22 times 2 is 44, then add going down. 45 times 2, then add going down. And there's your answer. So, f of 2 is equal to 90. So there's my value. In other words, if I plug 2 in for x here and take it to the fifth power times 3 and blah, 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 using direct substitution, you're going to get 90. So synthetic substitution is a lot easier than direct substitution. All right.